from 16 News Now. We're coming on the air tonight with breaking news from South Bend. The prosecutor's office ruling an officer involved shooting from earlier this month has been ruled justified. We want to go right to Joshua Short live outside the South Bend Police Headquarters where a news presser just wrapped up. So Josh, what can you tell us? Hey, Lauren, good evening to you and our viewers as well. In fact, we want to be transparent with them. We're still getting our bearings together. We just wrapped up this news conference within the last 15 to 20 minutes. So we're trying to understand exactly what took place here. But that news conference, we learned a lot here on what happened June 11th, right in that parking lot on Niles Avenue in LaSalle. We learned a lot about what took place and also the interaction that took place between the 69-year-old who was killed in that shooting by police, which, again, has been ruled justified. We also learned that the interaction between the two officers, one of which has been trained for incidents like this one, which we'll talk about a little bit later on at five o'clock. They were talking with this person, the suspect, for more than two and a half minutes before shots were even fired. Now, keep this in mind. A lot of people ask, was a taser approach used in this? We learned today there was indeed that approach. However, the taser was not effective in this case. And we'll talk a little bit more about why. It had to do with his clothing, potential, his clothing, potentially. There were several layers that the suspect at the time was wearing. Maybe that's one of the reasons why, according to officials. But again, there's an active internal affairs investigation still ongoing with that. I asked the chief after we learned about the facts of this incident, and obviously we learned a little bit more from prosecuting attorney Ken Connor in the initial press conference earlier today about the interaction itself, right? Three minutes we're talking here in the shadows of Oakland Mental Health Center. We talked about that specifically because a lot of people talk about how usually these incidents happen so fast. For those officers, one can only imagine it happened what was a long period of time. Here's what he said to that question. Listen. Yes, I, I mean, the longer the better. The, like, our, our theory, uh, and it's empirical on my part, however, or anecdotal as well, that the longer talking, the less something happening they tried up until you saw until there was a point where they had no other options that appeared to me again this is going to go through several layers of committees and everybody else to review these uh, before it comes but uh, as you saw the exact same thing that i did not seen anything different than what you all have seen and now keep in mind both officers who are involved in this shooting still on administrative leave pending this internal affairs investigation there are so many moving parts with this it's not just the prosecuting attorney you're talking about here in the department as well the internal investigation so again they are still on administrative leave that is per protocol keep in mind one of those officers randall mcmurray he's actually trained for this the crisis intervention training so he knew exactly what to do in this situation one of the reasons why this interaction took so long about about three minutes or so between both officers. And we also learned about the distance where they were standing compared to where the person was standing, right? Nice Swinder, when this all went down. That's, again, very important when you're talking about details here and the facts of this incident and what took place before shots were fired. We had three different angles too, Lauren, as I bring you to the conversation. We had both officers' perspective, but also in-car cameras. So a lot of people in the community may have questions. A lot of those questions were answered today. In Joshua, I know that video is very telling, right? It was. It was really tough to watch. It was about four and a half minutes. Before we watched the video of what took place, we also heard the 911 call, okay? Yeah. So keep in mind, this guy who we're talking about, Nice Rinder, was involved in what someone calling to 911 was he was stabbing vehicles. Mm -hmm. And so that was the initial call, and it was not too long thereafter when officials responded. He was no longer in the area from where the call came from, but they ended up finding him, and that is where that interaction took place several minutes before shots rang out. So there are a lot of moving parts, a lot of layers, obviously, when you have incidents like this but again it's just sad because there are so many people who are hurting today we're talking about the 69 year olds family we're talking about these officers the EMTs who had to arrive and look people have to prosecute this case as well in this case the prosecuting attorney Ken Connor who I just spoke with a short time ago earlier today talking about this incident as well this is not easy stuff this is really tough stuff for all involved yeah, and that's why we sent you out there. We appreciate you breaking that down for us step by step. Joshua Short, I know we'll be checking in back with you soon. We appreciate you being live out at the South Bend Police Department.